My name is Emilia and during today's demo session we will be reviewing a simple integration between Salesforce and Azure DevOps and more specifically creating Salesforce cases and transforming them to issues in Azure DevOps. The first thing we will see after signing in ZigiOps is the dashboard. Here we will be provided with additional information about our account's licenses and integrations. For example, our current number of active integrations, connected systems, and the self-health status of both the systems and the platform. The first step is to visit the connected systems section to connect the systems which we would like to use for our integration. After clicking on add a new system, we will be provided with a list of all the systems that are currently available for integration with ZigiOps. Once we select our preferred system, we will be provided with a template of all the requirements this system would need to connect with Ziggy. After we click on Save and Test, ZiggyOps will collect some metadata from both systems, which the integration users can see. It will be collected and used for the configuration later. The next step for us is to visit the Configurator section. After clicking on Add new integration, we can choose one of our predefined templates. Have in mind you will also be able to import and create your own custom integration templates. This way you can define your integration requirements from the ground up. Next we can go ahead and visit our main integration page. It will include our systems, the data type we are going to sync and the correlation logic ZigiOps is going to use. After we click on save, the connection between the two systems will be established. Once our main configuration is ready, we could proceed with the action levels. For each integration, we can have as many actions and operations as we need. In this case, we would need three. The first one will be handling the initial data transfer, while the other two will be handling the bidirectional updates. Lastly, in the UI, we will review the mapping capabilities of ZigiOps. We would simply need to visit the Field Map section to define how the data will be delivered to the destination system. This happens in the form of a mapping table with access to the fields of both systems. Now I would like to show you how the integration works. Here we can see our Salesforce system on the left side and our Azure DevOps system on the right. I'll proceed with creating a new case in Salesforce and see how ZigiOps will transform it as an issue in Azure DevOps. Afterwards, we'll make some bidirectional updates for us to test the synchronization capabilities of ZigiOps. This was the demo that we have prepared for our session today. If you want to integrate Salesforce and Azure DevOps in a specific way, you can contact our team and book a personal demo. Here is how you can do that. Go to ziguwave.com and click on the Book a Demo button in the upper right corner. Enter your company email and then just choose a day and time that are convenient for you for the demo. Then you just need to enter a few quick details so that we can have your contacts and know which systems you would like to integrate. That's all! We'll be happy to meet you in person in an individual demo. Thank you for watching and until next time!